DNA carries the coating for this genetic material and its helixes are made up of light encoded filaments, tiny gossamer threads that carry information the way fiber optic systems do. The pillar of light that you use to activate yourself and to bring information into your body is also composed of light encoded filaments. These light encoded filaments carry a vast amount of data and information and your body is filled with them. When bundled together and placed in a certain alignment, the light encoded filaments work together and release information that makes sense of the history they carry. The task you have before you is to consciously command, intend, and will the evolvement of your DNA. Commanding and willing and asking for this is not easy, for you must move through many identities. From the historical perspective of your multidimensional existence, or essence, or soul, you have been all kinds of characters, and some of these experiences have been painful. They have been challenging and difficult. The light-encoded filaments are a tool of light, a part of light, and an expression of light. These light-encoded filaments exist as millions of fine thread-like fibers inside your cells, while counterpart light-encoded filaments exist outside of your body. The light-encoded filaments carry the language of light geometry, which carries the stories of who you are. These light-encoded filaments were not previously able to come onto the planet because there was a pollution created by the dark team that kept them out. The information in the filaments was left inside of you, yet there was no logical way to make sense of it. So, in the present time, how do you find the information? The information is going to reveal itself to you. That is the process. You don't have to go looking for it, because this revelation is your heritage and who you are. As the DNA begins to form new strands, these new strands will travel along a nervous system in the body that is being developed at this time, and memories will come flooding into your consciousness. You must work to develop this nervous system, to pull light into your body, to oxygenate your system, to learn how to move through energy accelerations, and to call more ideas and experiences into your body. As this process begins to grow and nurture itself in your body, simply observe it, for you will want to know how to access it. Getting stuck in your dramas is like reading one of your books over and over again and not letting all of the information in other books come together. There is more. There is a whole story. DNA holds the code. It holds the blueprint of identity, the plan for existence, the history of the universe, and the history of life in this particular locale. And it is stored within the cells of humans. The original DNA of the stewards of this planet, the human occupants, had a genetic blueprint that was based on the number 12. The 12 strands of genetic material are therefore connected to many other representatives or informational sources that also number 12. Remember, reality mirrors reality. The 12 strands of information hooked the human occupant up with corresponding information centers in and out of the body. We call Earth the Living Library because you all have an image of what a library is. It is a place where information is stored and available. We use this analogy because we intend to evoke the image that everywhere you go, you are in a library. You just haven't figured out yet how to translate the information or recognize where it is in the library. Humans were designed to be the key to access this information in the living library. Right now, 12 is the system that connects. And if you look around, you will see it everywhere. It was a symbolic insertion 
for a reason so that you would someday figure out that it connects you to something somewhere else. It is not your natural rhythm, but it is a group agreement to use the energy of 12 in many different systems of reality. It is a coded formula. Many things that make no sense to the logical mind make a tremendous amount of sense to the light-encoded filaments and to the body as it is becoming more sensitive. There was a reason to build the libraries in the first place, for the pulsation of tyranny was beating at the time. There was concern on the part of certain energies, the keepers of time, that information might get into the wrong hands. So, very playfully, the libraries were designed in many different modes. The other libraries or worlds are not at all like your world. The task for the keepers of time was to engineer a project through which consciousness could evolve, have information, and be utilized to access information. Originally, the role of the human occupant as the way-shower to the library was one of great honor. Without the human occupant, one could not access the library, and the more tuned in the human occupant was, the more one could access the library. The human occupant had a certain pride in being loose enough and connected enough to find the data in all things. You are going to discover someday that sex is part of the process. When you own your own sexuality, you will see the opportunities you have to express it, and you will decide whether you want to express it in those ways or not. Sexuality has been used to spark the library card. There is something very dangerous in this, however, because it has been misused. That is why it is very important to own your sexuality and be very certain whom you share it with. We don't want any of you to be in a position to be bought or enticed. You are advised to look and see if you experience others as being honest and having integrity or whether they are flattering you. You are becoming stewards for power. You benefit by participating in the event of life. By simply being in physicality, you are endowed with experiences and characteristics that you cannot gather anywhere else. To be part of physicality on Earth at this particular time and during the last 200,000 to 300,000 years is a very potent event indeed because it means that you have come into a place where darkness has been reigning. The nature of existence on earth has been a struggle between light and darkness for many eons. Some would call it a struggle between good and bad or upliftment and evil. We will simply say that it is an event and place where certain laws and rules exist and that earth is certainly not the only place in existence that deals with these kinds of challenges. You are in the decade that we have labeled the unnamed decade, the 1990s. It is during this time that all the great events are going to begin to occur upon earth. Many events have already been occurring but they have been sequestered away in little compartmentalizations of officialdom. Those of you who are ancients, who are the masters awakening as you awaken, we want you to be able to see out of the ancient eyes and to awaken something that you know, something that you remember, something that is deep inside. You are going to need to trust yourself and rely upon yourself. You need to be able to see, to understand what you are seeing, and to translate the grander vision for others. It is up to you, and only you, to undo the locks and allow yourselves to go forward. We have spoken about your beliefs and the importance of thought. We emphasize over and over again that you are a result of thought, that thought is 
and that this is the essence of understanding, manipulating, and working within your world. This is the age of the multidimensional self, the self who can move with awareness in many different realities, the self who can eventually bilocate and disappear, the self who can move into fourth dimensional consciousness, the perceiver, not the thinker. Intuition is the avenue that you are now being guided to cultivate to bring about a marriage of consciousness. It is the marriage of the male aspect, which is logical, with the female aspect, which is feeling. It involves bringing them together to become one. You will begin to discover aspects of yourself that exist non-physically, or parts of self that exist as beings working in space who are truly space creatures. The soul is going to wake up. It will know every aspect of itself, and every aspect of the soul's self will know all of itself at once. Have you ever thought that there are portions of yourself that are in the dark, that don't know how to find the light except through you? They want the light as well. They want solutions and answers. What you may feel is not necessarily the intent of the dark force, but the emotional makeup of the dark force, the fear that vibrates out of lack of information. Portions of yourself that are uninformed are going to come to you to be informed. How do you inform them? You shed light. You share light. You say, I intend for all of my other selves to come along on this journey and for them to get light as well. A characteristic that members of the family of light have in common with one another is their participation in many versions of sentient or composite reality. Many of the forms that you have chosen to incarnate with would look very foreign and be very frightening to you. Yet this is how you have evolved your soul. You do not incarnate in only one species. You are travelers. As members of the family of light, you know the inside scoop. You come as ambassadors to make realities merge and become more informed within themselves so that everyone involved can release fear and become uninhibited. Part of your job is to meet these other selves, to merge with them, and to feel what this is like. As you grow and come to these higher realms of recognition, you will break through what feels like cement blocks, layers of yourself that have held you down. Think of the frequency that has limited the human experiment as a radio station. The human experiment has had one radio station on for 300,000 years. Same old tunes. The human experiment was unable to turn the dial and hear a different band, so the same frequency was broadcast. This created a quarantine, a sealing off of this planet. The creative cosmic rays sent by Prime Creator and the original planners pierce through this frequency shield. They bombard Earth. However, they must have someone to receive them. Without a receptacle, these creative cosmic rays would create chaos and confusion. You, as members of the Family of Light, come into this system to receive these rays of knowledge. You then disseminate the knowledge, the new lifestyle, and the new frequency to the rest of the population to alter the entire planet. As members of the Family of Light, you are here to anchor frequency and allow the mutation process to happen inside of your bodies so that you can make it available to the planet. You live this process, then you broadcast it to the planet. The ultimate tyranny in a society is not control by martial law. It is control by the psychological manipulation of consciousness through which reality is defined so that those who exist within it do not even realize that they are in prison. They do not even realize that there is something outside of where they exist. 
We represent what is outside of what you have been taught exists. It is where you sometimes venture and where we want you to dwell. It is outside of where society has told you you can live. You have been deprived of knowledge by frequency control. Frequency control limits the number of stations you can tune into. As members of the family of light, you must anchor new frequencies through static chaos and bring them into the physical realm. As you learn about your own personal history and discover patterns of ineffectual behavior that you must break and change, the planet pulses through its own patterns of behavior. You are about to repeat history as a planet in a most dramatic way. You have come to alter and remove the frequency of limitation and to bring in the frequency of information. When you are informed, you move beyond the need to be in fear. When you feel uninformed and out of control, you do not understand the bigger picture. Each of you came to awaken something inside yourself, inside the coding of your being, the DNA, and you are responding to it. This is why you are on a search in all directions of your life. As systems busters, to the areas where your specialties are most needed. Many of the beings who have incarnated as members of the Family of Light came to the United States because this is the land where you can make the most progress. This also happens to be a land where denial is pervasive. You believe that you live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yet you live in the most controlled experimental society on the planet. The tyranny that has been set up here is rather interesting because it is a tyranny without walls. As a country and a collective consciousness, the United States still has not reached an awareness that something is not right. Because everyone is so frightened of giving up the system in the United States, they are going to be forced to give it up. The system is corrupt, it does not work, it does not honor life, and it does not honor Earth. Consciousness must change. This is part of the divine plan, and this opportunity and setup are not going to be missed. In the next few years, a connectedness and communal cooperation will begin to run through this country so that you will stop separating yourselves with respect to political ideology. That separation was designed. Much of the political maneuvering going on, particularly in the United States, is purposely designed to separate you. Look at the New Age. Do you see how the New Age is separated? All kinds of things are said to keep you from discovering what you have in common. When people discover this, they will begin to get angry. A new pride and a new sense of integrity will come about because this is what is designed for the times. Modern technology is one of the biggest weapons of frequency control. You have been sold devices for entertainment and convenience, and they are all involved with frequency control. We recommend strongly that you get rid of your television sets. They are the primary tool used to manipulate your consciousness on a day-to-day -day basis. This experiment is so finely tuned that you respond subliminally to disease via the television. Television also promotes inactivity and a sedentary, obese life. Look around you. Wake up, humans. People who need to watch television are not tapping into the wealth of information within their minds and immediately accessible all around them. As a matter of fact, if you really want to evolve, do not read your newspapers, do not listen to the radio, and do not watch television. If you are able to be media-free for periods of time and you disengage yourself from the frequency of chaos and anxiety and stress and hustle-bustle and temptations of all kinds that you don't need, you begin to get clear. You begin to listen to what is going on inside of yourself and to live of the world and not necessarily be lost in it. You become clear. We cannot emphasize this enough. 
The educational system is another area where you are controlled. Most of what you are taught is malarkey. You work hard, take loans out, and pay money to learn something that is antiquated before you even set foot in the door, particularly in the realms of scientific, mathematical, psychological, and medical exploration. We are asking humans to come into full function as members of the family of light by imaging and energizing the pillar of light and pulling it inside the body. Command it. Make it your intention every day to operate with a cordon of light, for light frequency connects you and fills you with protection and information. Feel it move into the base of your spine, down your body, and into the earth as well as coming out of your solar plexus area like a fountain and forming a golden shield of light around you. As you use the solar plexus area to determine what is going on, you will learn discernment through feeling. Since you are a frequency-controlled society, the ability of humanity to create technologies has been limited. In a less controlled society that has greater outreach or travel capabilities through space and greater interchange between systems, technological advances are quite astounding and uplifting. Many gifts and influences from outside this planet have been hushed up. Some information has, of course, been given to the planet in many different ways and the resulting technologies have brought about great changes in lifestyle. One of the changes in lifestyle that occurred during this century was the introduction of movies. A whole new way of influencing thought was brought to the planet by the film industry. Just as there is a movie industry on this planet, there are those in space who have a holographic industry. They make holographic inserts, dramas that look just like they are real and insert them through portals into your reality. Since these space beings have been around for hundreds of thousands of years and humanity's frequencies have been controlled, it is quite easy to hoodwink human beings. Holographic inserts have energy fields and can be doused. Dowsing rods move differently in them because their energy fields are diverse and vibrate at an incredible rate. You can walk into them and participate in them. People may be part of them and swear they are real, but they are orchestrated events designed to influence the minds of humans. Holographic inserts are not done for information. They are done for control. They are simply an aspect of technology that exists. Humanity has been blind and hoodwinked over and over again because of the unevolved helixes that information could not plug into. The family of light has come to change all of that. You are here to carry a new frequency on the planet and hold it in your bodies so the rest of the planet can begin to vibrate at the same frequency. That frequency is going to create disruption of the structures based on two-stranded DNA on this planet. It cannot help it. It is time to evolve. Earth is ready to go through whatever is necessary for that evolution. Human beings must learn to read energies. They must learn to use more than the senses of their eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and so on to perceive reality. We have said that the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and sense of touch are deceivers of reality. They lock reality in. Now you are going to need to rely on other forms of sensing to determine experience. One of the forms you have discounted is feeling. Feeling, your knowing, intuitive, psychic self, has been jammed by frequency control on this planet so that none of you have been able to find it. You are in charge of you, and it has been gifted and granted to you that you honor your light, your body, and your experience to the best of your ability. 
you, as members of the family of light, are intending to merge dimensions. Your task is to pull other dimensions into this reality, to have your nervous system handle the different molecular fluctuations, and to be able to make it okay. You are learning to perceive through your feeling centers and to teach others how to do all that you can do. You are the way showers. We have encouraged many of you to move out of the logical mind because the logical mind will come into conflict with this information. In the next number of years, your understanding and vibration with the frequencies coming to you will be like turning on your own radio. You will have a direct telepathic link with motherships broadcasting to you. There will come a time when you will never even think of going to a channeling session because you will have your own link up with information. The wealth of information that will come to you will be of great reassurance. It will be broadcast to fill you in on what is happening. As you become more trusting, you will be able to manifest before you a light entity who will come physically and begin to teach you. Channeling, or the process of bringing information through another being, will become completely archaic as each of you manifests your own literal being to teach you. In the meantime, we are here to teach you, to remind you of who you are, and to give you an idea of what you can draw to yourself. What we want more than anything else is to assist you, as members of the Family of Light, to succeed in liberating the humans. Focus on the dance of yourself. To what tune will you dance, and to what magic will you perform, and to what heights will you be willing to push consciousness to give it a new definition of possibilities?